Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be opening up this booster box of Paladay Evolved. Now, um, right now you can get these boxes for under hundred dollars. They're about ninety-eight dollars, ninety-seven dollars. And um, if you go to TGC Player and look at the uh, solds and the and the price guide on there, you can see that this is one of the best sets for your buck. Um, that you can go ahead and, and uh, still get some really good cards that have some value in this. It has the good high pull rates that we've seen in the Scarlet and uh, Violet era. And um, if you watch uh, Danny Phantom, uh, if you watch his channel, you can see uh, he does a breakdown a analysis of uh, opening up one of these boxes. And he said that um, as of the recording of this video right now, um, that you can still open up one of these boxes and you can um, pull out around $95 worth and if you spend about 98 then it costs you about three dollars of fun uh, you know fun time to open it where some items you open with Pokemon you might spend 30 bucks and you get like a V that's worth two dollars or a dollar out of it but with this um, he broke it down and pretty much you should break even you could go over it could go under but should close to break even so we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box and get all the packs cut and um, and laid out so that you guys don't have to uh, bore you guys with that. And then I will get right back to you guys. Okay, so I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so as I was uh, getting ready to get back on here to open these up, I opened up the first pack and I didn't realize that I wasn't recording. So um, anyways, so you're going to see that I haven't finished the first pack yet. I just opened it and realized that I wasn't recording. So um, that's why this pack is already open. Um, all the rest are already pre-cut for us, and in this video, we're going to be opening up just the right-hand side. The left-hand side will be in part two. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Now, I heard that some of these cards like this, because I've been playing the TCG live game lately, and uh, I've really been enjoying it, But um, so I started getting into the game aspect of it a little bit, and I noticed that some of these cards are actually, um, they're worth a buck or so, because um, they're, they're you know, good for the game. So people who like to play the game go on there and buy those types of cards. Oh, wow. Okay, right off the bat, we got us our first hit. And it's a, it's a double gold star, so I... I'm still learning about this, but I believe this is the special illustrative rare. Did we? Oh, and there's something behind it. All right, and we got us an EX. Okay, I, I I'm not quite sure, guys, but I believe this is a special illustrative rare. Now I don't have any um, sleeves on me right now. I'm in the process of waiting for some new ones to come. So I've got these um, ones from the trainer boxes. So that's what I'll be using. But I I'm I'm not sure what this is called i'm not i'm not sure i know it's a little off-centered i can see that um but i'm not sure if it's a uh a special illustrator rare or if it's if it's yeah i'm just not sure exactly the rarities and how they work right now um I'm kind of thrown off because i'm like wait a minute if this is our if our special illustrator rare then that means we're only supposed to get like one per box maybe two and we got it in our first pack. That's kind of like took all the steam out of it. But we could have another one still in here. And this, yeah, this, this, I think I'm pretty sure this is our Illustrator Rare. Special, I mean, our, excuse me, our Special Illustrator Rare. All right, well, um, I mean, I'm happy that we got it. But I just, it threw me off that we got it in the first pack. I was hoping to have kind of a... I mean, we're in a booster box. We got 36 packs. In our first pack, we pulled the main card from the box. Um, let's just hope that we get a Hyper or another Special Illustrator Rare. And that's the thing about this series right here. Um, I was watching in Danny's um, uh, video, and he was saying how in these boxes uh, from Paladea, you usually get about two of the Special Illustrator Rares. Or a Special Illustrator Rare and a Hyper. Um, seems to be... That what people are getting man I, I, that sucks because i really wanted to enjoy that and be happy about it but it's like i feel like i, I didn't want it to come that early in the opening i wanted to be able to kind of enjoy and look forward to it wow Ooh, another ex okay so um that's the thing is that we should get probably close to six exs 
Um, maybe it's a little different in this one, but the, the later boxes I've opened, um, I've noticed that it's about um, 6 EXs, anywhere between 4 to 6 EXs per box out of your 12 hits. Um, Crown Zenith is one that I've really been enjoying opening because of the pull rates and because there's still a lot of good cards in that series that are worth uh, some money. Man, I'm telling you, some of these cards are just so cool looking that they would really make really neat, like, bigger full art size things. Wow. I'm going to be doing me a binder of just these hollows just because there's so many cool ones. garbage off here okay now uh for me I, I i have um a channel so i like to open up random pokemon products just to have fun and have some content but i'm learning that the best way to do it is certain ways because i have to turn around and sell the singles that i get um, in order to keep going because i have a business i have a, a collectibles business on ebay and uh so I sell all the stuff, but um, I've noticed that booster boxes seem to give the best um, guaranteed hits and pull rates and the bang for your buck with the price of the packs. Um, and it's all in the same series. I've noticed that makes a big difference. If you buy like an um, a EX box and it's got four packs, but they're all from four, four more, I mean four or three or four different series, the chances of you pulling a really good card is super slim. You end up getting like one hit in the box. And, uh... Oh, there's our full art. Cool. Now, um... These full arts... So here's kind of a breakdown of what I've noticed out of these boxes. Is that you get, like, one super good card. Okay, like your, your special illustrated. Maybe two. Um, or, like I said, a hyper gold. Then you get about two to three um, full arts. Then you get about three or four of the spe of the normal illustrated rares. And then you get like the rest in EXs, like four to six EX or Vs or whatever it is. So, it's like a caribou type thing. So, um, so yeah, so I, I have noticed that um, Okay, so we're on pack, I mean not pack, but we're on hit number four already. So we're about a third of the way there. All right. Now for me, I, I, I'm a big Charizard fan, so I know there, I don't think there's any Charizard in this series right here. Um, there is a cool, man, look at that. There's some cool different uh, Pokemon, but um, so, but I don't want to. I don't want to gamble. I don't want to keep opening up, you know, boxes of uh, of City and Flames or something else, just trying to hunt down Charizards. So it's just not feasible for me to do that. So I open up enough out of each set that I feel like I've I've gotten a taste of the set, and whatever cards I pull, I pull, and then I move on to the next set. But like I said, I'm getting better at my sourcing. I heard that this was a good uh, one. Um, I get better at my sourcing and getting the cards for um, the packs for a cheaper price. And I've even gotten into um, sourcing singles off of uh, eBay from people. And then I can turn around and resell some of them back in my store. Or if they're good enough, I can send them off to get graded and maybe multiply the value of them even more. So I'm, I'm learning. I'm... I'm I mostly sell G.I. Joe stuff um, on my eBay store, and I have other 80s toys and stuff too, but um, I've really enjoyed Pokemon ever since around, I think, 2015, 2016 is when I got into it. So for me, oh, cool. Okay, now here, now this is just an Illustrator Rare, I believe. Yeah, it's not textured, it's just an Illustrator Rare, but it's still a cool one. Um, 
Yeah, I got into Pokemon uh, in 2015, 16 era. So for me, um, and I've always been a Charizard fan since then. So Flash Fire at the time was really my um, my thing. And uh, I remember going to the dollar store and I pulled a dollar store pack. Just bought like three or four dollar store packs. And I pulled uh, one of the main Charizards out of that. And man, ever since then, I've been super stoked and really enjoyed that. Um, so for me, like, I guess people that grew up with Pokemon since the beginning, the base set Charizard is like, like their Holy Grail or something that really reminds them and gives them that nostalgia. For me, it's the Flash Fire and the Generations Charizards and stuff like that. that really, Because that was the time period when I got into it. So, And I scored me a uh, Flash Fire um, pack, never opened. And it's sealed in one of those uh, things from MJ Holding where it came like with five bonus cards. And uh, I got it. $59 and it goes for like almost 70 bucks a pack right now so I'm pretty happy about that okay so so far we are at one two three four five hits and we have an illustrated we have an EX we have a special illustrated we have a full art and we have another EX all right so Keep going. And like I said, we'll, there'll be a part two to this where we open the next half. I like to do that to give me a break in between because these can kind of hurt my arms and everything. But also so that the videos don't run too long where people just get bored and don't want to watch it. This way they can, they can skip in between and just makes things a little bit easier. But I usually release every time I do a booster box, I usually release both videos um, the same day. So, if this video is out, the other one's out too. Oh, cool. Now, I, I have opened up some of Paladea that's been mixed into like, you know, random products and stuff. But I've never really had like a, a steady opening of packs like this. So, I'm really getting to see some of the artwork and man, it is, it's cool. I've noticed that sometimes the artwork can seem repetitive in the ser in different series from series, but sometimes it's just completely different. And that's one of the cool things about filming this is that I get to go back and uh, revisit the artwork in these and spend more time with them watching the video. Because when I'm filming, it's just a little bit harder to to really enjoy that. And ooh, cool! Another so that's another illustrated. It's it's not the special illustrated; it's just the illustrated. So I'm learning, I'm learning. But that one's cool. Now, like I said, Danny Fan Fathom Phantom, however you say his name, cool guy. On I mean, I don't know him, but he's got it. I've been watching him for years, but he um. He mentioned how these cards um, from Paladea um, that like in the new Paradox Rift you don't get um, you're not even guaranteed a special uh, Illustrator Rare inside of your whoops inside of your uh, box um, he said it's like 0.73 percent per box 0.73 or whatever so you're not, you're not even guaranteed one like if you get two boxes you'll get one so with this, you're guaranteed to get at least one, and it's like 1.2 or something like that. And then there's the gold card. So he said when you put those two together, you basically are guaranteed to get two of that rarity per box. Not guaranteed once again, but those are kind of the odds. This isn't a mass p uh, pack opening, you know, like these ones where the guys, they open them up because they're trying to just open a case of cards and they want to 
have content but they also want to sell all the singles and whatever else like this isn't like that so that's why I, I kind of going through the cards a little bit slower because like I said I want to be able to go back and revisit the artwork and um, those guys just rip through just because they're trying to hurry and get to the shininess and that's fine you know but for me in this video that's not what I'm looking for just kind of want to be able to go a little bit slower with it I feel like we're close to being due for another hit right now. Nope. Okay. Well, maybe in the next one. We've got three packs left to conclude this uh, part of the, uh, the box opening. So. And with odds of about 12 per box, that means we should hit about six per side. So. It's really nice to have an idea when you're um, spending money on Pokemon cards to have an idea of kind of how the odds work. Um, it just keeps you in line because you can go crazy in Pokemon and uh, it always helps to be able to understand the odds a little bit and to be able to understand that a case or a booster box that's sealed is going to guarantee you most likely to have one of those really, really good chase cards. And uh... Okay, guys, we're down to one pack left. Alright. Last pack. Give us some last pack magic. All right, guys, what do you think? Last pack. There's something, is there, no, it, oh. All right, we got wormed. Okay, guys, well, thank you for um, tuning in for this first half. We got um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we got our six hits for this side. So hopefully we'll receive another six or more on the other side. So tune in to the next video and find out. Thanks, guys. I do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Have a great one.